and share with you uh, how you can purchase them. Um, this is a kind of a one-off sale that uh, I am doing. Juan, you can go ahead and start us up on Facebook. Yeah, we just went live on Facebook. And All right, awesome. Time. Thanks, Juan. Um, so we are live on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, so thanks for joining us this evening. This is a conservation fundraiser for uh, Save Wild Orangutans and for Paco Conservasi, the Bird of Paradise Conservation Group. And the way this is going to work is if you want to buy a print, uh, all the prints that I'm going to show tonight, including the ones on the wall behind me and other ones I'm going to show you during the uh, next few minutes, uh, are available at the, the link. If you're on Instagram, you just need to go to my link in bio and you'll see a special page with all these prints available for immediate purchase. Uh, if you're on Facebook, the, the link is in the description of the video. Okay, so um, let's jump right in. Uh, I want to tell you about some of my favorite pictures and show you some of my work that's that's for sale this evening. So this is a image called it's called uh, Entwined Lives. Uh, it reflects the connection between the orangutan and the rainforest. And I'm working on I'm selling these prints tonight of the orangutans to support the Save Wild Orangutans initiative of the uh, the group that's working to conserve the rainforests where the orangutans live. And that's why this print is so important to me. This is actually one of our new uh, products in terms of the medium. You can, uh, I offer this print in various formats on paper, but also this is actually a canvas wrap. So you see it comes with a nice uh, wire on the back, ready to hang, really nice product. This is a full bleed version. So this image, which is one of my most well-known uh, images because I won the wildlife photographer of the year with this picture back in 2016. Um, you know, this picture required actually years of effort before I succeeded in making it. I had this idea of taking a wide angle shot of an orangutan from above for many, many years, but of course you can't get this close to an orangutan in the rainforest, right? They won't climb up in a tree if you're up there in the tree yourself. So I had to use a remote camera. And so I climbed the tree when I knew, I thought that the Ronkin would come back to this tree because there was a lot of fruit there. I climbed the tree and I set up remote cameras. And over several days, I climbed this tree probably 15 times, uh, setting up and retrieving cameras until I got this shot. Uh, up and down that tree many times a day. Whenever the Ronkin wasn't there, I was going up and resetting my camera. And finally, he came at the right time. I got this frame. Um, and it's it's one of my most uh, favorite pictures because it really just shows the orangutan in the rainforest uh, in, a, in a completely unique way. So this print is available right now as is. This uh, actual product with the, the canvas wrap is uh, available for you to for you to purchase. Um, just again, if you're on Instagram, just just go to the link in my bio and you'll see a page with each of these uh, prints for sale and the price, uh, and you can purchase it immediately. And there's only one of these right now, so you know if you really like that, just go for it, all right? So I wanna show you a couple of the other orangutan images. Uh, this is one called King of the Jungle. Uh, it is a big male orangutan in his prime who is uh, just very relaxed because we've been following him. Uh, myself, I work with my wife, Cheryl Mott, and her conservation group, uh, Save Wild Orangutans uh, in the Rainforest of Borneo. Her team is out there every day following orangutans. They're out there right now. If it's 6 a.m. in Borneo, they're out there following orangutans right now. Um, and if I was there, I'd be out there with them. Um, and that's how I'm able to get pictures like this, by being with the researchers in the field, photographing real wild orangutans in their habitat. And so I'm donating. Uh, half of all the proceeds from this sale to the orangutan and bird of paradise conservation groups. And so I hope that in the spirit of, you know, giving Tuesday that you'll, uh, you'll carry on, you know, you can, you can buy some art for your home and support orangutan conservation at the same time. So we've got King of the Jungle, a big adult male. Um, another uh, print that's over here uh, on my, on my right um, uh, is called The Wild Ride. Uh, I see it's cut off on Instagram, but if you're on YouTube, you can see it. Um, it's, uh, uh, yeah, you can turn the camera, Rachel. Thanks. Just yeah, I think it would be a great idea to turn the camera. Um, I don't want to take it off the wall. So 
this is the wild ride. It's a, uh, it's a female orangutan mother with her baby on her side, and she's sort of swinging on a vine, kind of a classic shot, you know, with a huge tree on the left side of the frame, which uh, for me really shows that these are wild orangutans in their rainforest habitat. Um, and so that's the wild ride. This, these are prints are uh, are mounted on wood, are printed on wood, and I'm going to show you a little bit later. I'll show you another example of that up close. Um, but this is a new, also a new product that we're offering, is uh, which is kind of cool for these outdoor, you know, scenes. Uh, it's very appropriate to have these. Not on wood. It's very environmentally uh, friendly. Um, printed, but printed right on, right on, right on wood. Um, <laughs> So, this, okay, the next one I want to show you is one of the uh, crowd favorites, all right? It's this uh, photo called Live Streaming, Borneo 2020. It's a young male orangutan just uh, relieving himself in the rainforest. And uh, this has been a very popular print with our fundraisers. I think, uh, you know, it's a great print to put in your bathroom or somewhere to get a chuckle out of your visitors. And uh, just shows the, a beautiful shot of the orangutan, you know, in his, in his natural habitat, living his life, right? And, and I also want to show you the, this is one of our, you know, more uh, economical mounting um, methods. It's just a mounted on foam core with a block on the back, so it's ready to hang. Um, and that's one way you can, you can get the prints. Uh, this one is, is uh, of course, for sale as is in this live art show. Um, you can also purchase different sizes and different editions, uh, different options, you know, anytime you want on my uh, art storefronts website, timwaymanfineart.com. All right, so one more. Uh, I'm going to put on my gloves here because I'm going to handle some of, the, uh, some of the prints. I have some loose prints here that have been made for various exhibitions. Um, and other other purposes that I have here in my studio uh, that I'm going to offer today. And here's one um, of the orangutan female with a baby uh, called that special connection. Uh, she is, uh, you know, mothers take care of their babies for five, for for over eight years. So a typical orangutan baby stays with the mother for at least eight years. She doesn't have another baby until. The first one is eight years old. So there's that real special bond. And this picture kind of captures that moment between uh, a female and her, uh, her baby in the rainforest in Borneo. Uh, I also have um, a couple other loose prints, signed prints of the Entwined Lives image, right, that you see here. This is a large one that's about uh, 30 inches or so. Um, do I have that right, Rachel? Is that, what's the size on this one? Um, <clears throat> yeah, 30 by 24. 30, yeah, 30 by 24 inches, thank you. Um, so this is a sign print from an exhibit I did back in 2016 um, that uh, I'm offering for sale, and there's also a smaller version. So this, uh, this image is available both in this, uh, this mounted uh, canvas wrap right now and this sale, and also in this loose print. So you got a couple choices there. Uh, if you want to frame it yourself, um, so that uh, so all these orangutan images that I've just shown you are uh, gonna so the proceeds from that are gonna go to um, the Save Wild Orangutans NGO, the, the, the uh, conservation group that works in Gunungpala National Park uh, on Western Borneo to uh, promote the conservation of orangutans there. So I've been working with them for for many many years. Um, I hope you'll you'll show your support by uh, purchasing a print and uh, helping them out during this important time. All right. Well, I'm going to um, move on now to one of my other favorite subjects. So, besides orangutans, uh, my longest running uh, project has been photographing birds of paradise, and so uh, I have a few different birds of paradise prints to offer here and. I also work closely with a group in uh, West, West Papua, Indonesia, called Papua Conservasi. They work to help support the local communities that are uh, involved in taking care of the forest so that the birds of paradise can thrive. And these you know, local folks there have been really impacted by COVID because they started to have a successful uh, 
business of hosting bird watchers and photographers coming to see Birds of Paradise, and that just collapsed during COVID. And so I really want to help support them and get through this tough time until they can build their business back up. And so uh, the first picture I want to show you is the Bluebird of Paradise, which is up here uh, on the wall. Uh, the Bluebird of Paradise is one of the really uh, striking Birds of Paradise. This is one of the uh, canvas wrap prints, uh, like I showed you before. Uh, and the Bluebird of Paradise has this, this almost iridescent blue color that's extremely unique. It kind of glows from within. Uh, and this is, this is uh, one of my favorite uh, Bird of Paradise images. Um, so that one is on offer. Um, here we have another one of my favorites, which is this metal print. So this is another different type of product. This is uh, my Red Bird of Paradise image, uh, and it's on metal. Uh, it comes out with a really saturated look when you print it on metal. Uh, it has a nice ready-to-hang backing on there. Um, and so that's another option that you have in my, in my store for other prints as well if you want to order something that's on metal. But this one here is uh, currently in the studio here and ready, ready to purchase. Um, this is the Red Bird of Paradise, which is found only on two islands in uh, West Papua on the islands of Waigio and Batanta. Uh, and actually, this, this bird is one of the more difficult ones to photograph because it only displays in the very top of the rainforest canopy. And I, and like it chooses, they, they tend to choose the sort of tallest tree around in the area to display from. And so to get this shot, I had to climb about 50 meters, about 160 feet, up into the canopy uh, in the dark and get into my small blind and wait for the birds to come to capture this shot. Uh, so it's um, it's a really unique image, one of my one of my most popular ones as well, and it's available here on metal um, in this in this sale. I should put this down here. Now next, I'm going to show you uh, my one of my all-time favorite shots. It's the, um, let me see if I can get that in a frame without a reflection. So this is the uh, Greater Bird of Paradise Sunrise shot, all right? Um, multiple sort of award-winning image. Uh, and this particular example is printed on acrylic. So this comes with a, a, a frame on the back to hold it away from the wall. It's very durable. Uh, it really makes the colors pop, uh, and uh, it's a beautiful way to, to create a print that we really like here in, in our studio. And uh, so this is the Bird of Paradise, the Greater Bird of Paradise Sunrise. This image uh, was made with a lot of effort over a couple weeks using a remote camera and uh, climbing the tree. Uh, I think, you know, I've, I've told this story in my uh, Wildlife Diaries blog before. Um, if you want to go back and read the full version. But uh, it involved a lot of tree climbing, a lot of uh, uh, messing around with remote cameras that were deployed in the same tree where this bird displayed so that we could, I could get this shot. Uh, and one morning, kind of everything came together. Uh, my camera was working. I was in the next tree over. Um, controlling this, my camera with my laptop. And as the sun rose, it just had this beautiful light, caught the, gold, the displaying bird of paradise with these golden feathers and uh, just, you know, created this image, which is really one of my, one of my kind of career highlights, um, creating this image. So um, I'm excited to offer this uh, acrylic print version of it. Um, <clears throat> I also have a, a limited edition, very large, um, 48 or 60 inch version of this print in my limited edition collection. But this is an open edition, smaller uh, uh, offering. So that's another um, option that you have available today. Um, all right, so next, um, going over to uh, one of the other Birds of Paradise. And this is the Volkop Superb, Bird of Paradise. Now, this is a pretty exciting story about this image because we this bird was not known uh, to be a distinct species until we uh, photographed it, myself and Ed Scholes from Cornell, 
photographed it in 2016 and then published a paper in 2018. Uh, and so this is uh, one of the newest, sort of, if not the newest, discovery in Birds of Paradise. And this is printed on wood. Um, I'll show you the back. It's a really nice product, uh, very uh, eco-friendly, durable. I mentioned uh, earlier some of these orangutan pictures on the wall are also printed on wood. They look really great, and uh, I really like this new product that we're offering through our, our storefronts uh, store. So this is a superb bird of paradise. This bird is only found in the Arfak Mountains. Um, if you've been there and seen it in the wild, then uh, you're one lucky person because very few people have seen this bird in the wild. But it's a pretty cool conversation piece to have on your wall. Uh, one of the sort of newest discoveries of in the Birds of Paradise realm. All right, now here is, uh, here is my next one which is uh, an example of our frame prints. So we also offer uh, frame prints through our store. This is with a, a nice wide uh, frame here. Uh, this is the king bird of paradise. And uh, this is actually one of the smallest birds of paradise, but it is uh, also one of the most colorful. So you have the bright red head, these incredible uh, tail wires with the really interesting little discs at the tip. So. Uh, another really spectacular one's of the, one of the birds of paradise. Uh, that's one of my favorites. And uh, this is, uh, of course, we have some of these birds of paradise. We have a series of square prints in my store. Um, and this is an example of that. So this would be like a 15 inch square print of the king bird of paradise. All right, moving on to show you another one. This is. Uh, <coughs> called the Lesser Bird of Paradise. Uh, it's only called Lesser because it's a little bit smaller than the Greater Bird of Paradise, but it is equally spectacular. And uh, this, this shot again was taken from a canopy blind. I climbed way up into the canopy uh, and photographed this bird early in the morning as it started to display. Uh, and this is an example of uh, also one of our frame, uh, framing options, right? So we have a nice uh, kind of a, um, Rosewood, perhaps, or or is sort of walnut. nice walnut. Sorry, yeah, walnut colored frame uh, here with uh, it comes really nicely mounted, ready to hang with a wire on the back. Uh, so we've got that example here for you of the lesser bird of paradise um, displaying at his display site in the top of the canopy. Okay, now got a few more, um, and they're actually getting bigger. So here I've got uh, a half. A few years ago, I did an exhibition of uh, some of my best bird photography, and uh, these are these are large prints that are mounted and signed. Uh, they're mounted on foam core, ready to frame, uh, and uh, I have a. I'm going to show you several of these sort of mounted and signed prints that are. Um, from an exhibition, a gallery exhibition that I did uh, a few years ago, and they just been in here in my studio, and I thought I would uh, offer them for sale as part of this uh, fundraiser. And so this is the Greater Bird of Paradise, same one that is in my sunrise shot. This is a closer up shot that, of, of the two males displaying together that I made from uh, my blind that I have up in the canopy, just across from their tree in, in another tree. And so all these bird of paradise shots require a lot of time, you know, sitting in blinds uh, and waiting for the right light and the birds to come and uh, do the right, you know, behavior. So that's the greater bird of paradise, uh, males in full display. And next I have another one, another uh, very unique bird of paradise, which is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, called the king of Saxony bird of paradise. Uh, any of these prints that are not yet signed, I will sign for you before uh, before sending them out. Um, and this is a this is a mounted uh, print of the King of Saxony bird of paradise. This bird is quite unique in that it, it has the longest uh, sort of these these head ornaments, these long feathers that you see here, uh, are are long, uh, highly modified feathers attached to the bird's head that he waves around during his display. I just happened to catch this at the moment. 
when he's bouncing on this vine and his head feathers are undulating. So really just a one of a kind image uh, of the King of Saxony Bird of Paradise from the mountains of New Guinea. All right, I think actually that um, kind of wraps up our Bird of Paradise section, although I want to mention one other thing uh, while we're talking about Birds of Paradise is this year for the first time, I created a Bird of Paradise calendar. Uh, and you can see that here. Um, this is a really affordable gift. It's like $39 right now on my website. Um, and it's not in the art sale, but it's if you go to my uh, fine art website, you'll, you'll find it there. Uh, and every month has a different Bird of Paradise. It's on really nice, thick kind of fine art paper. Uh, some of the same images that you see uh, here in the gallery show are also in this calendar. Um, so every month's a different species, super colorful. Um, again, easy to write on, like nice fine art paper. I think it makes a great gift. And uh, you can easily find it through the main link to my uh, 200 fine art website. Um, you'll find a, uh, that for purchase there. Um, <clears throat> All right, so I've got a few other special kind of one-off prints that I have here in my gallery that I want to offer tonight as part of this sale. Um, and again, some of these are bird prints that are uh, <coughs> were created for the special gallery exhibition I did. All right, this is a cobalt wing parakeets. Um, <coughs> these are uh, photographing the Amazon at a clay lick. Uh, where the where these parakeets are coming down to, to get minerals from the clay. Um, and I captured this image at the moment that they all sort of took off for, uh, you know, and were leaving the, leaving the clay lick. Um, okay, here's another version, another shot from the same location of the, uh, of the birds in the clay lick, the cobalt wing parakeets at the clay lick um, number two. Uh, and again, this is these birds are just spectacularly colorful parrots uh, that are that are gathering in these huge numbers at this clay lick in the Amazon that I photographed during a National Geographic magazine assignment um, about uh, about this the most diverse place in the Amazon in the Asuni National Park. And so those are cobalt wing parakeets at a clay lick that is also there in the in the store. Now we have a couple other. Uh, selections from my, my bird photography. This one is uh, one of, from one of my wrapped in plastics. It's a little reflective, but this is uh, a shot of the red crowned cranes in the mist in Hokkaido, Japan. So I did an assignment for National Geographic a number of years ago, uh, and this image uh, is one of my favorites from that shoot. It's taken early in the morning on a very bitterly cold morning when uh, a frost was just freezing. The mist from this river was freezing on the trees. And the cranes that were sleeping in the river were waking up and uh, starting to get active. So uh, it's like cranes in the mist shot from Japan. And <clears throat> going a little further afield now, we go all the way to Antarctica, or actually South Georgia Island where uh, I photographed these king, king penguins on the beach at a place called Right Whale Bay in South Georgia. Um, spectacular place, we landed early in the morning. It was a bit, it was a bit, uh, you know, the sun hadn't risen yet, and so I was, I was experimenting with slow shutter speeds, and I got this one, I think it's a really interesting shot of some of the penguins are moving, some of them are not. Um, just created this really cool atmosphere uh, on that early morning in, in South Georgia. All right, I've got one more here, um, again from South Georgia. This is this is a, a, as the sun rose uh, in a place called Salisbury Plain in uh, South Georgia Island. Uh, <clears throat> it's a panoramic shape, um, again ready to frame. It's on foam core. Uh, this is a, a beautiful morning there at a huge king king penguin colony. So that's a uh, second one from Antarctica, and. Uh, Getting down toward the end here, um, again from my Japan collection, I got this kind of classic Japanese scene. When I went to Japan to do this assignment, I was really trying to uh, think about, you know, what what are the kind of characteristic elements elements of Japanese art, 
and uh, you know cliffs and pine trees were always featured so much but i went to this uh location in one of the coastal national parks in japan um, and i waited for something to happen at sunrise and this cormorant flew by at just the right moment that added that extra something to the shock right so uh, this is my corner cormorant cliff and pine classic japanese uh, uh scene that i photographed along the northern honshu coast <laughs> okay so I have a couple other um, individual prints to show you. Um, here is one of my favorite images from North America. It's actually uh, the ancient bristlecone pine trees. So I skied into the White Mountains in California to photograph these pines in the snow because I just thought it'd be really beautiful. Um, this tree, these trees look to be 5,000 years old, the oldest living trees in the world. Uh, and I, I found them a pristine snowfall um, to get that uh, that image. Uh, it's one of my favorites, and I actually have it have that print in my own dining room. Um, so <laughs> again, that's a signed print from one of my uh, previous exhibitions. Um, then we have a few other uh, ending here on a couple other one, one of my favorite subjects, the hornbills of Southeast Asia. So this is uh, the red knob hornbill from the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia. Uh, again, I was up in a tree, kind of hanging out in a blind, um, waiting for this bird to come back to its nest. And instead of going to its nest, well, I also got pictures of it at its nest in the next tree over, but it landed right close to me. And I just very very slowly turned my camera around, framed it up uh, and got this tight portrait, which is a really unique shot of this uh, red knob form. Bill. And then, <laughs> I think uh, last but not least, one of my favorite shots from Borneo of all time. I always dreamed ever since I first went to Borneo uh, and saw hornbills flying over the canopy, I always dreamed of getting a shot like this of the beautiful rhinoceros hornbills, you know, looking out over the canopy. And after spending many, many days, actually, I've counted up, I've spent over a hundred days climbing trees in Borneo at sunrise to try to photograph birds in the canopy. And this is probably my best shot that I ever got of uh, three rhinoceros hornbills perched in a tree and you can sort of see the canopy going off into the distance in the nice morning mist in the background. Um, so that's uh, the rhinoceros hornbills in the canopy. Um, and uh, so that wraps up the, the collection that I have on offer right now. So, um, oh yeah, no, sorry, one more thing. Thanks, Rachel. Um, so, <clears throat> Just before I wrap up, just a reminder, if you're on Instagram, you can purchase any of these prints by going, uh, going to my link in bio. It'll take you right to the page where each of these prints has its own you know, button and you can, you can purchase it. Um, if you're on Facebook or uh, YouTube or Facebook Live, you can uh, go to the description, in the description, the link is there to get to the, to the website. And this will also, if you don't make a decision immediately, We'll also, uh, you know, have this. I think until next Monday, the sixth, we'll have this sale ongoing, so you can revisit this uh, this website and uh, you know make your selection. But again, these are all one of the, one of the kinds, so um, it's first come, first serve. All right. So actually, uh, behind me, you see here revealed uh, a set of four prints, which are from my backyard birds collection, and I want to show you each of them. A little closer here. So this is a this is a goldfinch. So as some of you who uh, may have been following me on Instagram know, I love photographing the birds in the snow here in my uh, Massachusetts backyard. Um, and uh, so I'm offering uh, this group of four prints as one collection because they make such a nice grouping. So I have these four. I've got the I've got the goldfinch. I've got the uh, the cardinal, the northern cardinal in the snow. There's the blue jay on a snowy day that you see here. Um, and again, all these are mounted with a foam core and little mounting blocks, a very kind of easy way to mount, an inexpensive way to, to mount prints. Um, and then finally, the little chickadee, everybody a fan favorite, chickadee in the snow. And what I like about these is we we offer these as sort of squares and as two to one ratio, uh, wide format prints. And so you can, these are offered as a set of four, 
Um, I hope you can get a sense of this here if I hold them up. But the idea is you get all four and you can arrange them on your wall, you know, like that, or you can arrange them all in a row, um, or the pot, you know, the, there are various ways you can you can group these uh, together, uh, and they make a really nice set to kind of a set of four. Um, and so we're offering these four as one set. Of course, you can also go to the website. And uh, purchase them individually, or make up your own collection of four your four favorites of my uh, backyard birds collection. So, um, yeah. So, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, just to recap, um, this print sale is to raise funds for Save Wild Orangutans. So all the orangutan prints that I was showing you um, are up for up for sale, uh, and I'm be donating half the proceeds to the. Conservation Group Save All the Ronatons on all the Ronaton prints. Um, the Bird of Paradise prints are also all on sale, and we'll be donating you know, proceeds from those to Papua Conservasi, the group that I work closely with to uh, help people in Papua get through the pandemic, because um, they're so important for uh, protecting the forests where the Birds of Paradise live. So... I think uh, we'll wrap it up with that. Again, to, to, to purchase anything, you just go to the uh, slide, go to the link in my bio on Instagram or, or the description on Facebook. Um, and thanks for tuning in.